Hi everybody. This is a quick weeknight dinner that you can do. It is a poblano stuffed pepper. I know you have all had stuffed bell peppers before, um, but I wanted to try it with a poblano pepper just to give it something new and different. So a poblano pepper, if you are not familiar, it's the type of pepper that they use in Mexican restaurants to make chili rellanos. It is not a very spicy pepper, but it is a little spicier than the bell pepper. On the Scoville scale, which ranges from zero to a million, a bell pepper is zero. A ghost pepper can be as high as a million, and the poblano pepper typically lands somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 Scoville heat units. So we're gonna start by spraying a cookie sheet with some nonstick spray. And then we're gonna prep these peppers. Normally when I do a stuffed bell pepper, I will chop the top off, pull the seeds out, and then fill it that way. But of course the poblano pepper doesn't stand on the bottom like that. So however, lay it down on your cutting board and however it lays nice and flat, that's gonna be your bottom. And we're just gonna take a lengthwise um, strip off of the top, just like this. And that's how we'll fill the pepper. This one didn't slice evenly, so I'll just kind of cut that open. This is how we'll fill our pepper, pull it open, and then just use your fingers to pull out the membrane and the seeds. Again, this is not a very hot pepper, so you don't need to worry about it getting on your hands the way you would with the jalapeno or hotter. And just set it on the pan there. I've got my peppers in a 350 degree oven just to soften up a bit. Um, it'll probably take 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start on my ground beef, my filling mixture. I've got uh, some 93% lean ground beef here and I'm just gonna put it in my skillet and brown it. Once your beef is totally cooked through and you're seeing no more pink, if you've got any excess fat in the pan, you can drain it off at this point. And to it, I'm gonna add about a cup of cooked white rice. I used uh, basmati rice because it's what I had. Um, if you really wanted to amp up the fiber, then brown rice would be really delicious in this. I'm also gonna add a can of black beans that I have drained and rinsed, and a can of corn that I've also drained. Frozen corn would look would work really well as and um, but I just had canned and I'm also going to add a can of diced tomatoes a packet of taco seasoning and I'm going to stir this all together very carefully once you're meat and corn and beans are all incorporated. We're gonna add some shredded cheese. Um, I just bought the pre-shredded Mexican blend at the grocery store. Um, you could just use cheddar or Monterey Jack or whatever kind of cheese you like and shred it yourself if you want. I'm gonna put about a cup in there and stir that together. And then this filling is ready to go in the peppers. All right, after about 10 minutes in the oven, my peppers are a little soft. They're not totally done and they're not supposed to be at this point. Um, and now that they're out, I'm gonna fill them as carefully as I can with this filling, just dividing it as evenly as possible. This filling is probably gonna be more than we can fit in these peppers and that's okay. It will make a great taco filling left over or um, a taco salad, or you could just eat it plain. All right, once they're stuffed, I'm gonna top them with just a little bit more of my shredded cheese, and then I'll pop them back in the oven for another 15 minutes or so to let the pepper finish cooking and melt the cheese, and then they're ready to serve. All right, my peppers are cooked all the way through. My cheese is nice and melty and golden brown on the top and all that's left to do is garnish these. So I've got a little bit of cilantro here that I have rinsed, and I just kind of twisted and pulled some of the leaves off the stems, and I'm gonna give them a rough chop. There are still some stems in here, that's okay. Those stems aren't gonna hurt anything at all. Just sprinkle a little cilantro on there. 
You are gonna love this. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.